Hi friends and church family. Thanks for tuning into this video. We're calling them Faith Moments, a time when we could just get together with you and share something with you to encourage your heart from our heart and from the Word of God during these days whenever we can't get together physically. We can still get together spiritually and grow in our faith and stay connected during this time. And so we are facing times of trouble. Uh, no doubt about it, the whole world has been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. And it does seem as though it's taken everybody by surprise, more or less. But I think the thing for us to remember is that it hasn't taken Jesus by surprise. God's not surprised at this. In fact, I have to remind myself that in Matthew 24, Jesus warned us, told us that we would face trouble in the world. And in fact, as the time towards his second coming comes, he said it is going to ramp up. It's going to actually be increasing in perplexity and difficulty. But he does say this. So he says, but even in spite of that, when you look around you and see all these things happening, do not fear. Do not let your heart be troubled. And I think to myself, um, it's kind of hard, isn't it? Because you look out there and you think, how do I let my heart not be troubled when everything around me seems to be shaking and life has just changed quite a bit, even in just in two weeks of time? But Jesus said this also in Matthew 24. He said, heaven and earth will pass away. I mean, it goes that far. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So he gives us this great insight on where to look for our hope, for our strength, for our anchor during times of trouble in the earth. And that's to his word, because his word is a rock to us. It's a rock to our spiritual life. It's a rock to keep us from feeling like we're tossed to and fro all around in our mind. And I think that's been very easy to have happen. So many things are changing. Uh, our minds are just going to and fro over all the possibilities. The what ifs tend to want to crash in. I mean, mo many of you have become instant homeschooling parents. Uh, we know we have jobs that are sometimes on the line right now and insecure. You may be feeling insecure about that or insecure about having elderly parents. I know I have elder an elderly mom. Uh, who I can't visit right now because of they're quarantining everyone. Uh, or you might be a healthcare worker, and you're definitely more at risk having to enter into that healthcare setting to care for people. And so you may ask yourself, well, how do I hold on to the peace of God? How do I find it? Where do I find it? And I want to share with you just a couple of verses of Scripture today during our time together. The first one is from Isaiah 26, and I'm just going to read it to you. It's Isaiah 26, verses 3 and 4. It says this, you, meaning God, you will guard him or her in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because we trust in you. Verse 4 says, so trust in the Lord and commit yourself to him. Lean on him. Hope confidently in him forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. He's the rock of ages. And so when we're looking for peace, we must keep our mind on the Lord. Because he says, I'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind thinks upon me and my word. And I like to personalize the word of God to get it down deeper into my heart. Because truly, God's word is God speaking to you about his plan, his plan of salvation, his plan and purpose for your life. And so when I read that, just to help it get down deeper in my heart, I'll say it this way. You, God, will guard me. You're going to keep me in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on you. And so I'm going to trust in the Lord with all my heart, for you are my everlasting rock. You are the rock of ages to me. And so you see, when you personalize it, it begins to go a little bit deeper. The meaning of it is personal. And the Lord is a personal God. Jesus is our personal Savior. And so I, I, let's just learn, I would say, during this time, I would encourage you to learn to speak out the Word of God. And you can make that determination. Ask yourself, what am I thinking on? I need to put my mind on the Lord and what his word says. And when you do that, you're going to build a deeper spiritual foundation in your heart to find peace. I want to share with you one more scripture. It's from Luke 6. It's uh, Luke 6, verse 47 to 49. And it says this, for everyone who comes to me, and this is Jesus talking, he's saying, for everyone 
who comes to me and listens to my words and does them, I'll show you what he's like. He's like a man building a house who dug and went down deep and laid a foundation upon the rock. And when the flood arose and the torrent broke against that house, and it could not shake it or move it because it had been founded securely on the rock. Verse 49 says, but if you merely hear and don't practice it, in other words, you're not going to think upon the Lord and you're not going to obey what he says to do. You're like a man who builds a house on the ground or in the sand without a foundation. And then when the torrent bursts, it collapses and falls and great is the ruin of that house. And so the Lord tells us, build your house, build your spiritual house on the rock of my word. And now when our life routines are so messed up, aren't they? I mean, everyone's life routine and rhythms are kind of all out of whack because our children are home and many of us are home, uh, homebound at this point. Let's use it. Let's use it as an opportunity to create new rhythms in our life. Okay, got God rhythms. Ask the Lord, what are you doing in all of this? Ask him, what do you want me to change maybe and adjust about my own lifestyle? so that I'm building more on the rock. I believe God's using this storm, and it is a storm in the earth, to draw his people's attention, his church, his children's eyes towards him, to seek him, to go deeper. And I believe he's doing the same thing through the troubling times in the earth. He's t wanting to turn people's eyes towards himself to go deeper. And so right now, you know, many of us that are homebound, there is a lot of opportunity uh, for social media, for television, for news. And I would just encourage you to uh, balance, balance the time between entertainment and all the social media and the time you give to putting your mind on the things of the, of the word of God, thinking on God, meditating on his scripture. Uh, because entertainment and all of that is fine and good. Uh, it's just that it, it can sometimes just be a distraction for a temporary moment. And then it sort of takes our mind off of the difficulties. But then when real life comes back in and the thoughts come back in, that's where we, we tend to not have enough peace. And so we're going to find peace, everlasting peace, the strength of God as we meditate on him. Because I think Isaiah 26, he didn't say, I'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on a million other things in the media and Netflix and all the other things that we can fill up our time with. And again, I'm not saying those things are bad. I'm just saying they're temporary. They're temporary distractions almost for what is what, what truly deeply troubles our hearts more often. So let's use this time to build our spirits in the word of God, build our spiritual house. Our children need it. They need to hear us to be confident in the things of God. We want to build up our own self, our own faith, so that we could be a help to other people who are in distress and find themselves in trouble. And so I'm just so glad that you took a moment to be with me today. Uh, share a comment below after this video. What are you doing to keep yourself strong in the Lord? What are you doing? Uh, maybe it's worship music. Maybe what are you reading in the Word of God that's giving your heart a sense of peace? I think that could be a help for other people. God bless, stay connected. We're going to get through this together as we all learn to lean on the Lord a little bit deeper. God bless.